Welcome back to Movie Stacks. Today we'll be diving into an action thriller film from 2022 titled The Gray Man. Without wasting your time, let's jump into the recap. The film begins in a Florida state prison with a man named Fitzroy. He had come to free a prisoner named Six. Six is told that if he bails him out, he must work for his organization, the CIA. He assigns Six to an elite unit known as Sierra. 18 years later, Six was set on a mission with his colleague Agent Miranda in Bangkok to eliminate a potential threat. After Six had set up his gun, Danny Carmichael, his center chief in charge of CIA operations, briefed him on the mission of the target he was to eliminate. According to Carmichael, the target was selling out information that could compromise national security. As Six was about to execute the target, he stopped because he noticed a kid near the target. Although Carmichael ordered him to continue with the mission collateral damage wasn't going to be an excuse. Six disobeyed, saying the gun jammed. He then switched on the emergency alarm. As everyone was in a rush, he took out the dining car securities. After a long, hard battle, he catches up with the dining car. The dining car tells him he was once an operative like him, and his real name is Sierra Four. Six then stabs dining car. In his dying state, the dining car tells him that he was recruited by Fitzroy, just like how they recruited Six. He goes on to tell Six that Carmichael is a bad man. He then gives Six a necklace containing a hard drive. He tells Six that you should use the hard drive to bring down Carmichael. Sierra Four then breathes his last. Agent Miranda meets up with Six. He tells her that the dining car knew who he was and in Sierra, there wasn't any intel. After a proper search was done on Sierra Four's body, Carmichael was told that the drive wasn't on him. Carmichael, frustrated, then called Six. He tells Six to give him a status report. He then asks Six if he had taken anything from the dining car's body, but Six replied negative. Six tried opening the drive, but he discovered it was encrypted. So he gives a stranger the package to take for delivery to someplace it could be decrypted. The next scene opens up in Baku, Azerbaijan. Six had called Fitzroy, who is already in retirement. He tells Fitzroy that Carmichael's ways might not be straight as he was asked to execute a Sierra member. Fitzroy then asks for his location he tells Six that he would send some local extraction team to keep him safe. Six tells Fitzroy that before Sierra Four died, he handed him some kind of hard drive that would expose Carmichael. Fitzroy then tells him to get to an airfield in Chiang Mai where his local extraction team would be waiting. In the next scene, Six is being introduced to Claire. They began bonding as she even took a photograph of him. Later that night, while Six was making sure everywhere was safe, Claire called out his name as she fell screaming in pain. He rushed her to the hospital. At the hospital, he was told that there was a programming glitch, they were able to repair it, and now they can keep track of her pacemaker from anywhere. Later that night, when Claire was discharged from the hospital, Six noticed someone in the apartment. He caught up with him and then beat him up. Claire heard the noise and came out to see what was going on. He tells her to go back to bed and that everything is all right. The movie then switches to the present day. Six have gone to meet up with a man who would process a new passport for him and change his identity. The man asked him to clean up so he could take pictures of him. While Six was cleaning up, he remembered how his father used to treat him like a maniac back then. After he had finished cleaning up, he was given an Ecuador passport. The man then tells Six to step over to the platform where he would stay for the photograph. As he was taking pictures of Six, he kicked a button that opened the platform, making Six falls into a dry well. The man then tells Six that a heavy bounty was placed on his head. Six then tries to burst open the glass with his gun but it wouldn't break as it was bulletproof. Meanwhile in Berlin, at the CIA station, Agent Miranda goes over to Carmichael for questioning. He tells her that if she knew anything related to Six whereabouts or where he kept the drive, she would suffer calculable damage. He goes on to tell her that they had no information on Six since the last two decades, and he was the last Sierra ever remaining. He got a message on his cell phone showing the address they had captured Six. Agent Miranda reads through his glasses as the message is reflecting on them. Lloyd was told that they had captured Six. Meanwhile, Six was already setting up his escape plan. He burst open all the pipes so water could flow in. Lloyd and his men got to the place where Six were trapped, and the man who had caught Six trying to ask for his reward was shot dead. Lloyd then orders his men to search the area for Six. As they got to the well where he was trapped, Six burst open the glass with force from the water. He beats up Lloyd's men in a hot fight, but Lloyd catches up with him. While Lloyd was asking for the drive, he noticed Six had thrown a grenade and ran out of the house for cover. As Six was trying to escape, Lloyd caught up with him again, but Agent Miranda came to his rescue by shooting him with a tranquilizer in the ass. She then ordered Six to get in the trunk of her car. 
When he refuses, she shoots him in the leg with a tranquilizer. The scene then switches to a castle in Croatia, where Lloyd had taken Fitzroy and his niece. Suzanne, upon their arrival, complained to Lloyd telling him that he wasn't supposed to kidnap Fitzroy and his niece. She tells him that he wasn't doing it the right way and her career was at stake. Lloyd gets angry telling her that he is the only hope she is getting that drive back and he has an advantage as he wasn't going to follow their rules and get things done the right way. In the next scene, we could see Agent Miranda with Six. She tells him that they pulled her out from field duty and he was going to clear her name. She then asked him what he stole from the agency. He tells her that Sierra 4 had given him a drive before he died, but it was encrypted, so he sent it to the UK agency chief Margaret Cahill, who was living in Prague to help out. Meanwhile, Lloyd was told that during the night of the Bangkok operation, Six had sent the package to a person in Prague. Lloyd then goes over to Fitzroy to torture him so he can get answers from him. After plucking off his nails, Fitzroy finally opened up. Agent Miranda and Six then pay Margaret a visit in Prague. She tells them that the drive contained Carmichael's dirty laundry, all his tortures and assassinations, and that is why Six is on the ledge. She then tells them to copy the file and leak it to the press. She also volunteered to give him her bulletproof car. As they were talking, Lloyd's men arrived at her place, releasing heavy gunfire while Lloyd watched from home in Croatia. As they are all going for cover, Margaret shows Six a basement where he could use to get away, but then she locks herself out. She sacrificed herself by blowing up the entire apartment with Lloyd's man in it. Police then arrived at the scene. As they try to arrest Six, he attacks them and flees. They got into a hot chase. The police finally caught up with him after he had got into an accident. They handcuffed him to a bench as Lloyd's Alpha team approached the city square where he was handcuffed. Six tells the police to clear all the people away, but they shut him down. He takes their gun and opens fire in the air as people run away for cover. The Alpha team then engaged in a heavy gun battle with the police, taking several of their men down. Lloyd's team destroyed the majority of the police vehicles while Six hid for cover. The SWAT team then arrived using the machine gun on Lloyd's men. Lloyd then orders the Bravo team to take out the cops. The SWAT team then fired massively at the Bravo team. They tell Lloyd that they couldn't get to Six as there were too many cops. Six manages to pick up a gun as he fires at the team. After many exchanges of gunfire, he cuts loose from the handcuffs and goes inside a moving train. Lloyd's men followed him as they fired heavily at it. Miranda then comes to rescue Six with Margaret's car, but she is chased by the city police. They got into a hot chase, causing a lot of damage. The train crashes as Six jump into Miranda's car, and then they escape. After Lloyd had found out that all his team was gone, he told another agent, Avik San, to track and retrieve the hard drive. Meanwhile, Six and Miranda go over to Claire's hospital so they can track and rescue her. They got hold of the hospital swipe card and checked for her location. As they were conversing, Avik caught up with them. He asks for the drive, and when they refuse, he effortlessly beats both of them and steals the drive. Miranda and Six then drive over to where Six would be treated, cause he was badly injured. As he was treating his injury, Miranda asked him why he went to prison. He tells her that his father fancied himself a real macho man and wanted his brother to follow his path. He started treating them badly and it became obvious that he killed his father and was put into prison until Fitzroy found him. In the next scene, Avik goes over to meet Lloyd. He delivers the drive to him. Miranda and Six then arrive at the location where they held Fitzroy and Claire captive. After ambushing some security, they got hold of heavy gunpowder. Miranda uses her RPG to destroy the place, while Six go over to rescue Fitzroy and Claire. Miranda, on the other hand, destroys the control center. Avik then picks up the drive after it has fallen off. Lloyd and his men continued to chase after Six and Fitzroy. Fitzroy then tells Six to continue the journey without him as he was badly injured. He tells him to take care of his niece. When the situation became critical, Six took Claire and jumped into the river. Fitzroy, on the other hand, uses a grenade to blow up Lloyd and his men, hereby sacrificing himself. Luckily, Lloyd escapes the explosion. Avik, on the other hand, got into a fight with Miranda. As he was about to finish her off, he surprisingly gave her the drive. He tells her that Lloyd and his man aren't honorable people, and they don't deserve the drive. He drops the drive and leaves. After engaging in a gun battle with Six, Lloyd captures Claire and holds her at gunpoint. Six then threw his gun away as they battled. After Lloyd notices that he is losing the fight, he brings out his knife. In the process, stabbing Six numerous times, Six then grabs hold of him and pins him down. Suzanne then comes over and shoots Lloyd. 
After she had killed Lloyd, she told Six that Lloyd was going to take all the blame for everything, and what she needed was just a witness to corroborate her story. She tells him that if he wants to see Claire alive, he has to do everything she asks him to do. She then took Six to the medics after she noticed he was bleeding out. In the next scene, Carmichael, Suzanne, and Miranda were exonerated by the higher authorities in the CIA. They were clear of criminal charges after Carmichael destroyed the drive. Carmichael then asks Suzanne where they kept the Six. She tells him that he was kept on the most secure floor. When Susan and Carmichael arrived at the location where Six was kept, they discovered he had escaped the building. Six then rushes over to save Claire from Suzanne's men who were guarding her house, and the two are happily reunited. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. We'll see you on the next one.